So to install these rock sliders, you really just want to be comfortable. You want to basically have, potentially have it propped up on something about knee high that you can just pick up and, and put on top of you to lift up. You want to locate your holes, make sure it's straight and in position. We'll get one screw in it, just to hold it there for now. Make sure it doesn't want to go anywhere. Just need to check if that's lined up, which it isn't just yet. That. Make sure that, that those holes are lined up. There's a fair few wires and fuel lines, etc. that you just want to bypass. Now this side here is a tricky one. We've got a fuel tank right here. And we've got We got cables, all sorts of junk going on. So we just want to get a spatula or something similar or a screwdriver or something in there just to wedge some things across and we'll drop our, we'll drop our uh, washer in there. So we'll use a spatula. Just to move some things out of the way. Slide our big washer up there. Now we can get our bolt, drop it through the front here. Just want to move that washer around to try and locate. Got it. We want to put another washer on this side of the bolt over our big plate. Make sure that spreads the load. Squeeze it in there. Get your malt back in. And then we'll grab a nut. This is a good trick. Hold it in two fingers. Hold it on the end of the nut. Uh, on, on the end of the bolt. And just twist the bolt. And that'll, you'll feel that pull the nut towards the surface of the washer. And then we're going to have to do it up from the outside, pretty much. Look, I could make it easier for myself. Watch your eyes too under here. All this stuff that's fallen out, all this mud and gunk and whatever it is, it's, uh, it's not nice when it gets in your eyes. There's no torque settings on these, but you pretty much just want to do it as tight as you can go without allowing the chassis to flex. So you can see that big washer's on there for a good reason. It's to spread the load across the width of this chassis rail. If we were just to have that one flat washer on there, it would just pull the chassis rail in in the middle. And that's, you don't want that at all. That's when you start getting well, warped chassis, no good for any vehicle. So we just want to get it tight enough that it's got plenty of tension on it. That'll just about do it. I've normally got a 13mm ratchet spanner for this exact job. And wonderfully enough, it decided to go walkabouts right before I filmed this. <laughs> so I'm doing them up by hand like a sucker. Uh, for eight mil bolts we've got in here. So I've got two eight mil bolts here, two eight mil bolts here, and a 12 mil bolt up the end. 
And that's plenty enough for some serious rock sliders. Some people go to the extra effort of putting gussets in over these U-shaped brackets, and that helps a little, but they're pretty solid. So that's that for installation. That's those done up. Excuse the finger marks. But that's those done up. As you can see here, I decided to weld these nuts on the back side, and we ended up welding the whole pipe over one of those nuts. Um, so the other end of that screw, the other end of this bolt here, actually goes through into the pipe. But it was the only way it was going to work because we had to figure out bolts in from this side. Um, there's an exhaust here to contend with. A nasty old exhaust that should hopefully be replaced pretty soon once we get this turboed. Stay tuned for our turboed video. There's bracket number two in the middle. Again, just a couple of bolts with our welded nuts on this side. And then we've got our, and then we've got, uh, where is it? And then we've got this one up the end, just an L-shaped bracket. And we just run a bolt through with a big steel washer on the inside. You can see it clearer on this side. Much more space on the other side of the car. Much more space. Room to swing a cat over here. So they're, they're done up nice and easily. And you can see again, there's that square, square washer, just with the big 12 mil bolt through it. Um, they're not going anywhere. I'll put a washer on that actually before I finish up under here. watching guys good luck any questions feel free to message me or comment or email by all means um, it's been a hoot thanks for watching so that's our installation video done please don't forget to like and subscribe any questions message me comment uh, Instagram Facebook let me know happy to answer any questions uh, again Thanks for watching.